This video is sponsored by studywebdevelopment.com, which gives you whatever you need to start your own side hustle in becoming the ultimate freelancing developer. And this will include a 100 page guide on how to do your own side business, give you tips on SEO, and even give you website templates to help you keep going right away. Check them out in the link in the description below. And now please enjoy the video. What's up YouTube? I know, I know, right? I know it's been two months. I've been gone for literally two months. And to be honest, I just had to take a two month hiatus, literally just disappearing from social media. And it has really helped me a lot mentally. Just the fact that I didn't have to worry about creating content and just really focusing on myself the last two months has helped me a lot. Literally, guys, as I've been gone these last two months, I did not look at any social media. I didn't look at my Instagram. I didn't look at my messages on Instagram, if anyone messaged me. I didn't look at my emails on Twitter, right? I, I literally took a break from everything because I really just want to be able to focus on myself. As we're going into the year 2020, I really want to think of just not my life, but even of things that are going on around me. And <laughs> it, it blows my mind when I really look back in 2019. There are people who lost their jobs. There are people who... <laughs> who absolutely hate their lives right now, who are struggling like crazy, or feel like they have no hope. And I'm gonna tell you that I spoke to all these types of people, and I gave every single one of them a potential option and how they can change a life in literally just 12 points. I told them that, yo, I was in that situation four years ago. I hated my life. I did not know if I could ever have a career or a future, or even have, make enough income to have a family, to even get married or have a child. <laughs> I, re I remember when I wasn't sure if I'd have enough money to eat the next day or even have money for gas or any of these things, like wondering if I could even afford my phone bill. I remember all these things. And I told them that I would personally help you learn code. I will personally help you find the best courses on Treehouse. I will go through it with you. I will literally sit next to you while you're learning code to the point where you can ask me any question and I can help you out. Why? Because I didn't even have that. If I had that when I was learning code, I would have learned code so much more faster. I would have known what direction to take and what opportunities to go for in this industry. I told them all of that. And it breaks my heart because most of the time we'd make a promise to meet up the following week. They'll bring the laptops. Or if they didn't have a laptop, I told them they could use my laptop, my computer so they can learn every weekend. And we make a promise to meet up and they wouldn't do it. Or they wouldn't continue it. And it would break my heart because these are friends of mine and I personally care for them and I really want their lives to change. And it really just put things into perspective for me. And I knew this before, but I know it now more than ever, that realistically in this world there are two types of people. There's a type of person, person one, where you know life is hard or you want life to get better and you hope it can. But even when there's a way out, there's still people who aren't willing to do it. Why? Because they're not willing to put in the work. They don't want to sacrifice. They don't want to be uncomfortable. And there's a second type of person. And these are the people who aren't my friends. And I meet them from all over the world, right? <laughs> these are people who, same thing. Life is hard. Maybe they think they're too old to learn code now. They're college, high school dropouts maybe. They don't have a hope for a future. But when an option is given to them to make a change in their life, they, and they can see like, yes, it might take a year or two to make it. But if they're willing to put hard work, their lives can change like that. And, and this is what I think of when I think of my friends and, and not in a way to judge them at all, but it just, it, it blows my mind. And I, and I think it's because a lot of the times, yes, there are people who are willing to be uncomfortable, but because the guarantee is not 100% that they will succeed, they're not willing to sacrifice just a year of life to try to do it. I don't know what other way to describe these people as normal. That's normal. That is literally how everyone is. But my question to you then, right? And this is like, even to myself is, who do you want to be? Do you want to be the normal type of person in the world where you just accept your life as a reality and that's it? That you don't, yeah, you'll just live that paycheck to paycheck life. Or maybe you have a good job, but you hate that job. Do you want to be that kind of person? Or, or do you want to be the person where you work your ass off for one to two years and literally after two, three, four years, you'll be living the life that you never thought you'd ever have. Not just that, people will see that you're living life thinking like, 
how the heck did he do it? That's literally why I made this YouTube channel. I never thought that YouTube would be paying for my rent. I never thought that I'd make any money from this. The only reason, literally, and you can see from my very first video, I had no idea what I was doing. I only did this because I wanted to document my life and show people that you can do it. As you can tell, I don't teach code. <laughs> I don't teach code whatsoever at all. All I do is document my life and really share my opinions and really try to motivate people to help them realize that no matter what year it is, what point of your life that you're in, that you can completely change your whole career. You can completely change your life. My brother was gonna go to a boot camp. I stopped him to go to boot camp. I'm like, bro, you don't need to do that. What is he doing now? He's doing teamtreehouse.com because that's where I learned to code and became a developer in three months. And he's not even doing a tech degree. I just said, you know what, just try it out. Do the basic pro program there. And he's learning code. Like people thinking that it's not possible is crazy because you can 110% become a developer in 2020. I can guarantee you that. But it just depends on you. Like how hard are you willing to work? And I think also even more than that, right? I don't want to make this video too long. I think what tends to happen is that people look at developers like Mark Zuckerberg or Elon Musk thinking, looking at that 0.0001% of developers in the world who freaking made huge companies and super exceeded, right? All expectations. <laughs> And people tend to compare themselves to them thinking, that can't, I can't do that. Of course you can, you can build, maybe you can't build your own Tesla, I don't know, maybe I don't know you. Don't look at that 0.0001% types of people, but you can still be a developer and be happy making maybe 70K a year, making 90, 100K a year, 120K, which is 110% possible. But I think also sometimes we have to put things in perspective as well. Like for us who live in America, yeah, man, like, Learning code could be hard, that's for sure. But do you know how many people who want to learn code can't even afford a laptop? Or how many people who have a laptop have access to the internet, but even if they learn code, they still can't make a good living from it because they live in a country where developers don't make that good of an income? When you look, look, at, it, look at it from that perspective and realize the opportunities you have here in the United States, maybe you live in a country where people do get paid well as developers. Really look at how fortunate you are. But now, when you look at it from that perspective too, how many people in the country you live in want to become a developer and aren't willing to put in the work? Now, when you compare yourselves to them, all you have to do and think about is, I'm willing to do the work. I'm willing to put in more work than anyone else. Then what will that do? Don't you think that will increase your chances of becoming a developer? I was talking to um, a friend of mine. He's a recruiter at a Fortune 500 company. And he told me, that yes, they want developers to have skill, but what they care about more than that is culture. And even more than that is how willing that person is to work hard and to learn. How passionate can they be, right? What kind of personality do they have? Because all of those things can become a factor in regards to how you succeed in this industry. It's crazy, right? What I love about being a developer, whether it's 2020, 2019, 2030 maybe, is that no one cares if you were a high school dropout. No one cares if you were a college dropout. There are some companies that do. There's some, there are very few now. But no one cares about your past. All they care about is what you can do now, what you can do for them in the future. What your job is, is to learn code and show them what you can do and how you are the right person that they need to hire to help them in their company. I don't know, like, it, it's, it's insane. Forget about how much you failed in the past. Think about how much now, you, think about how much you can succeed, not just in the future, but now in the present. Succeed not just, don't look at just long-term successes, but look at daily goals. Today, learn for an hour. Tomorrow, learn for an hour and 10 minutes. Or learn one hour every day for the next six months. That's better than wondering or hoping that you can change your life. It's better than just dreaming, is what I'm saying. Do something. Because I'm telling you, there are so many opportunities. I have so many opportunities right now, it's insane. And I'm, and not even, I don't even consider myself a good developer. Now imagine if I was a good developer, if I put in even more work to learning code, how many more opportunities will come to me? So for all of those who are really wondering if you could make it, or if you could become a developer or a software engineer in 2020, I'm telling you, you 100% can. Just try. And if you guys want me, man, like, the, 
I mean, just use anything. Use your Demi to learn code, right? Or like you could use where I go, teamtreehouse.com. I'll put the link in the description and like just don't even do the tech degree. Do the membership where it's $25 a month. Do a seven day free trial, just try it out. Whatever it is, go to freecodecamp.com or .org, whatever it is. Whatever you need to do to learn code, whether it's free or not, just do something. Because from this moment on, start depending on what you do today will determine where you will be in the future. Anyways, I'm gonna end the video here, guys. Thank you for watching. This is Krishan. This is Life for Developer, and I'm out. It's good to be back. Peace.